Rocket League is changing, and if you don't change with it, you're gonna be left behind. I know this because just a few months ago, I was struggling to keep up at my rank. I had fallen down to Grand Champ 1, and I was hard stuck for over a year. I knew I needed to be more mechanical and more consistent and make better decisions, but I felt like I was just stuck doing the same thing, and I had no clue where to start. That's when I started coaching with the pro player Shock. After less than three months of working together, I hit my new peak rank of Grand Champ 3. Since then, I've made 20 big changes, and I want to share exactly what I learned and what's working for me right now, so that way you can steal it and get back to ranking up too. For those of you new here, I'm a Grand Champ 3 Rocket League coach and founder of the GrandChampBootCamp.com, where Shock and my team of coaches give away all of our content for free and do paid one-on-one -on -one coaching for 18 plus players ranked diamond and above. For access to our free Discord community and all of our training routines, training resources, and all of my courses for free, click the first link below and I'll see you in the Discord server. Outdated tip number one, ranked 3v3 is the best game mode to improve. Most high-level players agree 3v3 is the slowest of 1s, 2s, and 3s when it comes to improvement. You recommend for improvement to not stray as much toward 3v3. Why is that? Oh, don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I, I genuinely don't touch it until you're, until you're like a good grand champ level. Since 3v3 requires so much rotation and demos and kind of wasted time off the ball, it's good in moderation, but for the most part, don't touch it. Instead, you want to spend most of your time in ranked ones and twos if your goal is to improve your car control and your actual skill the fastest. Outdated tip number two, only air roll to line yourself up. I used to say that you should only air roll when you absolutely need it. But as I've ranked up, I've realized that's actually not true. Not only will air roll help you confuse the opponents, but did you know if you're air rolling while you touch the ball, it actually reduces knockback. But don't take it from me. Take it from one of the pro coaches at my coaching company, the thegrandchampbootcamp.com. Freaky. If you go for the ball normally and you just hit the ball, watch my nose. You see the recoil compared to if I air roll along my hit. The more stable my car in the air, the more momentum I can transition into the ball. Outdated tip number three, you have to solo queue to improve. Solo queue 2v2 and 3v3 especially is actually quite a waste of time. Most pros will duo queue until they get to their appropriate rank and then they'll start to solo queue again. They know that it's easier to climb when you are playing with a good teammate. If you're struggling to find teammates, my free Discord community at thegrandchampbootcamp.com is actually growing by almost a thousand members each week. Currently, we've got over 40,000 players inside, and we've got people active every day, ranking everywhere from gold to SSL. So click the first link down in the description below to join for free today and find some teammates. Outdated tip number four, just play ranked to rank up. If you want to rank up faster than 99% of players, you've got to do what 99% of players aren't willing to do, which is the boring stuff. If you want to rank up fast, train backward saves, bounce dribbles, power shots, simple, fast aerials, and recoveries. You do that, you'll shoot up to champ, even grand champ. Outdated tip number five, just flip more to play faster. The mistake many low ranks make is actually flipping more than the pros. If you ever watch pro gameplay, in order to play fast, they'll actually minimize their flips. You want to flip only when you've got long distances to cover, and rarely should you be flipping more than once at any given time. The reason is because flipping locks your car in a direction, which means you can't change direction, grab boost, or change if the ball redirects. So if you're bouncing around the field like a pinball every time the ball gets cleared, flip less and you'll actually play faster. Outdated tip number six. Power slide is just for freestylers. Have you ever wondered why high rank players' recoveries look so smooth and your recoveries look so junky? The answer is because they use power slide. If you don't hold power slide when you land, your car will spin out and you'll lose momentum any time you transition between ground and air. High rank players remember to always hold power slide when they land, and any time they make turns, they're tapping this button to maintain speed. Use power slide more, and you'll actually play faster. Outdated tip number seven, default keybinds 
are good. While the default keybinds can work, they're absolutely not updated to 2024. Three steps to update your keybinds to 2024. Step one, move boost off of the face buttons. Step number two, bind power slide and air roll to the same button. And finally, bind at least one directional air roll. Outdated tip number eight. In rank 2v2, you should challenge fast, and first. If you haven't heard about the retired pro player Flakes, he did an entire road to SSL with no mechanics where he proved that you can get SSL while fake challenging 90% of the time. If you watch him, he will never challenge first as first man. What this means is if he's upfield, he will fake challenge, drive challenge, or worst case, single jump challenge. He'll never front flip and overcommit, leaving his teammate alone. And the reason most of you lose in your solo queue games is when you leave your teammate solo. So follow this rule, no challenging first, and you will two times your win rate in solo queue. Outdated tip number nine, speed flips are a champ plus mechanic. If you're playing Rocket League in 2024, you need to stop driving through the kickoff. Trust me, people worse than you are doing speed flips in Diamond. If you don't want to make life harder for no reason, go spend a couple days learning the speed flip. You'll thank me later. Outdated tip number 10, tutorials are just for beginners. And the amount of stuff that you need to learn at Platinum is actually way less than the amount of stuff you need to learn at Grand Champ it only gets harder. If you stop watching tutorials at Platinum, you're really only going to hurt yourself. Point is, there are a lot of mechanics in 2024. Tutorials are not just for plats. Outdated tip number 11, you don't need mechanics to rank up. Back in 2022, I used to say you can get Grand Champ with zero mechanics, change my mind. This year, I made a correction. Now, I think you can only get Grand Champ with zero flashy mechanics. The average player is too mechanical for you to ignore mechanics. Outdated tip number 12, higher stiffness is better. Because stiffness controls how much your camera moves when you accelerate, I'd recommend for average players, 0.4 to 0.6 is good, but if you're getting more mechanical or you want to try something new, you can lower your stiffness as low as 0.3 for best ranked performance. Outdated tip number 12, just dump the ball into the corner and try to center it. At the low ranks, you might be able to get away with just dumping the ball into the corner and hoping it centers. But at the high ranks, you have to understand not every attack is a winner. Sometimes the point of the attack is just to maintain pressure, maintain the ball, and boost starve your opponents. And in these cases, you actually don't want to center the ball because if you center the ball and your teammate isn't there, congrats, you just made the perfect pass to the opponent and now your team's in a 2v1. Stop centering blind and look before you put the ball in the middle. Mistake number 13, go for boost on kickoff. In rank 2v2, especially solo queue, it is a mistake to grab boost. The reason is because possession is key in 2v2. And if you give possession on the kickoff for free, a high rank player will punish you. Outdated tip number 14, coaching is only for the pros. And in my experience, there are actually two best times to get coaching. The best time is not when you're pro, it's actually one year ago. The second best time to get coaching though, if you didn't get coaching a year ago, is actually today. I haven't talked to a single player of the 3,000 who've come through my coaching company that told me I would be better if I would have waited. But don't take it from them, take it from me. I actually did one-on-one -on -one coaching with my pro coach Shock this March when I was hard stuck at Grand Champ 1. And in the span of less than 10 weeks, I ranked up to Grand Champ 3 while still only playing for an hour a day. Just so you know, at the time I'm recording this, Shock has 18 of 30 spots booked. So if you want to get one of the last 12 slots and you're 18 plus years old, DM my team Discord account with keyword ready to see if you qualify for coaching. I'll have my team Discord account first link in the description below. That's keyword ready for one-on-one -on -one coaching, 18 plus only. Outdated tip number 15, just hit the ball hard. The mistake many low ranked players make as they start to climb in Rocket League is giving away possession. If you didn't know, the higher rank you are in Rocket League, the more important maintaining possession of the ball. The reason for this is because when higher ranked players get the ball, they're more likely to control it and score. So if you keep giving away the ball as you climb up the ranks, you're going to get punished by higher ranked players. If you want to get past Diamond or Champ in Rocket League, you need to learn how to control the ball. Outdated tip number 16, warm-ups don't matter. The truth is, the more mechanical you are, the more you need to warm up. And no, Platinum players, I'm looking at you, free play air dribbles do not count. If you've ever wondered why you're inconsistent, the reason is maybe because you don't warm up 
consistently. Warm up for five minutes a day, and I promise your consistency on your first game in rank will be three times as smooth as if you didn't. Outdated tip number 17. Training packs are just for new players. I used to think that training packs were just for new players and that once you get to a high level, you should just do workshop maps and free play instead. I thought this because I saw some pros doing free play. So I thought, well, if the pros just do free play, then I should just do free play if I'm high rank too. The things that pros do now that they're pro is often different than what they did in order to get pro. So just because you see most pro players doing free play on Twitch streams doesn't mean that's how they got pro. And it doesn't mean they didn't have to learn stuff in free play like the rest of us. The truth is many pros did grind packs. They did grind workshop maps. They did grind free play in order to get pro. And now that they are pro, they just spend more time in free play because they need to master their mechanics. Point is, don't just copy what pros are doing now that they are pro, copy what they did to get there. Outdated tip number 18, back post is just for low ranks. Advanced players never skip the basics. They're not actually doing more than us in order to rank up. They're often doing less. There's less wasted movement. There's less wasted flips. 90% of the time, even if you're champ, you should rotate back and avoid chaos. If you can just continue to stick back post through champ and into grand champ, you'll be a defensive god. Outdated tip number 19, you shouldn't be demoing in ranked. There's a concept called running through that my coach Shock taught me that almost all pros do religiously. If you don't know what I'm talking about, running through means looking for demos while you rotate. The mistake most low rank players will make is after they say center a ball in the corner, they'll simply turn around and rotate back exactly where they came from. Instead, when you finish making your touch in the corner and you're rotating, you actually wanna rotate off the ball. You wanna rotate across the field and while you do, look for demos. Since not every attack is gonna be a winner, remember, sometimes it's better to leave the ball and look for demos than always play the ball. Finally, outdated tip number 20, delayed kickoffs are better than normal kickoffs. Delayed kickoffs are not the meta in twos and threes. If you're gonna communicate with your teammate and do a trick or try to cheese the opponents, do your fakes, do whatever you wanna do. But if you're just trying to win in solo queue, delayed kickoffs are really only effective as a mix-up strategy. And even then, they're really only useful in ones. 90% of your kickoffs, especially in twos and threes, should just be your best, consistent, and safest kickoff. This should be a speed flip for most of you watching or if you don't know a speed flip yet, that's fine. Use diagonal flips. If you go for safe and consistent kickoffs, you will win possession and win your games three times as much as if you're trying to mess around with every kickoff. That was 20 outdated Rocket League tips to stop doing great. I know what not to do, but what should I do? If that sounds like you, check out my newest video. I just dropped the simplest way to get mechanical and rank up in 2024. Click here to check out that video and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.